It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. This famous star of Major League Baseball pitched for four teams, most notably the Baltimore Orioles, in a playing career that spanned a decade. Currently a sportscaster, Steve Stone received the Cy Young Award in 1980, finishing the season with a record of 25-7 for the Orioles. Of Jewish descent, Stephen Michael Stone was born in South Euclid, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland, on July 14, 1947. His father, Paul, changed records in jukeboxes and later worked as an insurance salesman. His mother, Dorothy, worked as a waitress. His maternal grandfather, Edward Mannheim, lived to see Stone celebrate his bar mitzvah in 1960. He played baseball in high school, won several tennis championships, was a ping pong champion, and was a proficient golfer. At Kent State University, his catcher was future New York Yankee Thurman Munson. After graduating with a teaching degree in history and government, he decided on a full-time career in baseball. In 1968, he was drafted by the Cleveland Indians, now the Cleveland Guardians, in the 16th round of the MLB draft, but did not sign. The following year, he was drafted by the San Francisco Giants, but played first in the minor leagues until 1971, when he began playing for the Giants full-time. Ron Fembright mused in Sports Illustrated that Stone was, and I quote, a Jewish intellectual who just might be a right-handed Sandy Koufax. In 1972, he was 6'8", with a 2.98 ERA. After suffering a sore arm, Stone was traded by the Giants with Ken Henderson to the Chicago White Sox for Tom Bradley. After just a year with the White Sox, Stone was traded again, this time to the Cubs in Chicago. After suffering a torn rotator cuff and undertaking cryotherapy upon refusing surgery and cortisone injections, he returned to the White Sox, where he stayed until 1978. In 1979, he joined the Baltimore Orioles, where he achieved his greatest success. In his first year, Stone was 11-7 to with a 3.77 ERA in 186 innings and was 7th in the league in fewest hits allowed per 9 innings pitched. His best year was 1980, when he went 25-7 to for the Orioles. Not only did he win the Cy Young Award that year, but he also won the Sporting News Pitcher of the Year Award and came a ninth in the American League MVP voting. Stone's relief pitchers did not blow a save for him all season until his last start of the year. He led the league in wins and one lost percentage, and was second in game started, seventh in ERA, strikeouts, hits allowed, nine IP, and hit batsmen, and ninth in innings pitched. In June of 1980, he received the American League's Pitcher of the Month Award. He also started and pitched three perfect innings in the All-Star game that year. Stone threw as many as 73 curveballs in a game at least twice that season, even though he knew he might damage his pitching arm. Due to his recurring arm problems, he retired from active competition in 1982. That year, he began his broadcasting career as a color commentator for ABC's Monday Night Baseball. In 1983, he joined WGN, providing color commentary for Cubs games for 21 years, 14 of those years with Hall of Fame broadcaster Harry Carey. Since 2005, he has handled color commentary duties for the Chicago White Sox. In 1999, Stone, along with Barry Rosner of the Chicago Suburban Area's Daily Herald, authored Where's Harry, a memoir of his experiences with Harry Carey in the WGN booth. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.